All right, so just uh, this morning before I head out to work on a kitchen remodel, I just want to create something, kind of get in the right mood and the right headspace here for the rest of the day. Uh, this is just a board I didn't like. I didn't like how it dried. Um, so I'm just going to change it. I, don't, I know I don't really need this clear, but... Or really a grease coat because I'm doing it on epoxy, so it doesn't really matter. I guess it's just a sample board I'm playing with. Not for a customer. Well, I may show them it if I like it, but we'll see. No real rhyme or reason to what I'm doing here. Just spreading it out some. No big deal. I always doubt that there's enough. I mean, this is supposed to be four, roughly. Three and a half to four. Um, ounces here per square foot. But the 11 by 14 is a little bit more than one foot, so. And I mixed up about four, so. This is not a whole lot of epoxy. All right. So I did three different whites. Um, I have Stone Coats Pearl. Um, that is um, just a white dye. That one is... Uh, it's uh, from Sia. C-E-Y-A. It's a company. Um, a while back, I bought like 12 different whites from random companies I'd never heard of before to try them out, just to see which ones I like, I love, which ones I don't like. Um, I love doing finishes where there's like a lot of light colors if it looks good. If it looks bad, no way. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm just going to take a little bit of these. And I drizzle a little bit throughout here and there. Once again, doesn't really matter. I can fill in some of these holes just with gold. I wish I could just like put it upside down and easily transfer everything that comes out onto the board when I want it, but I haven't changed the plastic in a little while, as you can see here on the surface. It's probably, yeah, you know, well, it's many weeks at least of, uh, of acrylic and epoxy. Um, all right, let's torch it real quick. Do a tiny bit of spreading just to at least cover the board. So, of course, that gets rid of bubbles, but then also makes it a little bit softer so it'll run easier um, to start flowing. I'm not really sure that I want to do a tilt when I haven't done any designs yet, but now I don't. Um, not that it'll look bad. I don't mind tilting once just to change the design to make it look make it look better, but I haven't done that yet, so.
This is just curving edges. That's all it is. All right, so let's do just a little bit of spreading. I really like just running some of the colors on the surface. Um, because then you get really cool cells and effects, which I like. It's not just, hey, here's three colors, four colors, and they're kind of divided up a little bit, but I don't know. I've had an issue here recently with I do a design. I mean, it's not on every piece, but I do a design. Absolutely love it. And it's done. I barely use the torch at all for anything except just the very initial popping of bubbles, and that's it. So I know I'm not making it too hot, and it's running. I know that's not the case. But then when I come back to check on it hours later, it's completely dried. Oh, it's um, changed. Where colors have sank and risen and just completely changed everything and I don't I don't like that I mean it wasn't the design that I wanted um, and then a lot of the time I feel like well I really don't like the design that's come up I like what I did not what it became um, so you really need to figure that out I'm just gonna do a little Italian just regular clear Kind of see what happens with that. Let it do its thing for a little bit here. I'm just kind of looking at maybe a simple, super simple design, you know, for a countertop, which is like white, a little bit of gold. Um, it'd be so different than just black and gold, which is, I mean, pretty easy to do, but. Um, well, very easy to do. Just trying to see what, what works. It just, so many designs, they just kind of turn to muck. And, uh, don't want that to happen if I'm doing something for a customer, that's for sure. I'm just kind of spreading out some of the white dye. There's not quite as much. You know what? Now I can. Switch over to one of my new favorite tools I started to use. A little bottle with ISO. And then I can go in and. One drop at a time. 
put it where I want it. I'm not relying on spritzing, dumping from my hand. I can do one drop at a time. Complete control. Just running this along the line of the die. Definitely don't like the design yet. No, no. Do not. Taking some of these colors and just bringing them in a little bit. So what's kind of coming out of these cups is I just let them empty out. Waste not, want not, right? Dirt. Right. A little bit of that one and some muck. Still don't like the design, but I'm just playing here a little bit. Uh... Gonna see what we can do, what we can make. old. Do a tiny bit of black spray paint. Just a tiny bit.
black takes over so quickly and absolutely changes everything and that's definitely getting much wider than I would have liked I think Smear instead here, then. Same thing up here. Just barely putting it on the surface. gold paint which will dry pretty quickly mm -hmm. a little white go back in with a tiny bit of black Trying to be a black again. All right, now with that in place, let's add some drops. It's not gonna affect the gold much, except just probably distort it or move it, so I'm going to drop it on the white and black, primarily, if I can. Let's fill in that gold. Smooth this out a little bit here.
this up. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. <sighs> the light coat. Don't want that trying to muck. So, a little bit of a tiny bit of a drip now. More of a randomized. areas I don't like. Really like this section, so bring out some of the colors. This is not deep, you know, thick pour like a lot of the others that I do, but um, so I'm not, I like what that's doing. Um, really, I mean cool cells as it's, I mean, it's still interacting with the alcohol on the surface. Um, Sorry, it's a lot of gray muck here. I don't like that. Don't like it. <sighs> but I need to finish up. Um,
like how thick that was up there at the top. So, a little bit of finger. Does a great job. Don't like that. Do not like it. Mm. So, let's... Different technique. Black paint. Gloved hand. Paint can't about empty. See what that looks like as it reacts. Hmm. I don't know. Don't know. I don't want to just keep on adding more and more stuff because it'll all just melt into muck and I don't like that. Um. Tiny bit of black here and there, off of my fingertips. I don't know, I think I'm done. I don't wanna add so much that when it dries, it completely changes. I'm tired of that, so tired of it. Make something you like and then you come back and it's Something completely different. No. So, whenever I don't like it, I just reuse canvases. Take some of this runoff. Let's do that. I love using runoff because colors have already like combined and started doing pretty cool things. It doesn't cost anything. You can either just let it sit there and do nothing or use it and you know, have it help you with your design. Hmm. As I hear it coming up, I'm actually going to make this customer's countertop with her in front of her. Um, she's not going to do anything, but she's going to have input. And she really wanted to watch. So, you know, adds a little bit of stress, obviously, but it's okay. That's not horrible. I don't think I'd do that for a countertop. It's so busy, but it would take forever. But I don't, I really don't dislike it. So let's take a little bit of the relax. Because I don't want to add heat. Pop whatever bubbles there may be left. You see, this stuff's awesome. If you guys haven't tried it, you got to try it. Go to RK3 Designs, look up the Relax um, Fusion Spray. Uh, it's amazing. It pops the bubbles with no heat, so it's not going to fully expand, you know, your design to have it then shift and move and do crazy stuff. So, um, just, I love it. Um, if you haven't tried it, I suggest you do. So, all right, now I'm done.
Done, done, done. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys have any input as far as what you like, didn't like, what I could do better, I'm always trying to learn. Always, always, always. Um, please let me know. Um, if you could, if, if you enjoy this, I mean, like, subscribe, comment. Um, I'm not doing anything to, to make any money off of YouTube, that's for sure, um, at all. But, I mean, just so I can know what I'm doing. If you guys enjoy it, if you don't, I mean, I can stop. Or change something, right? So you enjoy it more and benefit from it more. Just um, let me know. So I can do do things that benefit you. I'm probably still going to record no matter what. Because with an incurable brain disease, that's one piece at a time. Literally killing my brain. Um, I, I forget. I forget what I, how I make designs. I forget um, how to do it. So that so, sometimes recreating something that I did is um, really hard. Um, there's one design that I, I, or technique that I, I did it multiple times on different, on different pieces. It's kind of like a bubble or cell technique. And uh, I can't for the life of me remember how I did it. And I've tried so many sample boards to duplicate, but I haven't quite gotten it in yet. So I um, have to work more on that. So it's just a little bit different view. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know. Like, comment, uh, let me know what I did wrong, did right, what you like, what you don't like. And I'll see you guys on the next one.